inshallah اثنين وعشرين ابو زايد يلا بسم الله 29. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدات والسادة نرحب بكم في هذه الندوة الافتراضية حوار مع الرواد مع نخبة من قطاع العقاري لمناقشة تطورات العقارية وما تشهدها السوق وكيفية التوجه الصحيح نحو الاستثمار الناجح أه Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Thank you very much for joining us at this webinar. Uh, and we would like to welcome uh, our group of experts to discuss today about the development and real estate market and the trends and what the best, uh, business approach is today at this current uh, situations. Uh, I would like to welcome in the beginning uh, His Excellency, Mr. Harith Al Musa, the Vice Chairman of Falcon City and Windows. نرحب بالاخ حارث الموسى نائب رئيس مجلس اداره فالكون سيتي مرحبا الاخ حارث مرحبتين كبار حيا الله ابو زايد ابو زايد دكتور محمود ثانك يو فيري ماتش شرفتونا تسلم طال عمرك ثانك يو فيري ماتش اند وود لايك تو ويلكم دكتور محمود البرعي ذا فايس تشيرمان اوف ذا بورد دايركتورز اوف انترناشونال فيدريشن اوف ريل استيت دكتور محمود نرحب بك نائب رئيس مجلس اداره الاتحاد الدولي للعقارات حياك الله مشكور اخوي جاسم مشكور اخوي الحارث على الدعوه. يا مرحبا وسهلا يا مرحبا اند ويد لايك تو ويلكم مستر شاكر زينب ذا دايركتور اوف بزنس فاينانس ات اميرتس ديفلوبمنت بانك اخوي شاكر زينب المدير اداره الفاينانس في مصرف الامارات للتنميه مرحبا اخوي شاكر. حياكم الله السلام عليكم ومبروك عليكم الشهر وثانك يو فور هوستنج اس. ثانك يو فيري ماتش اند وي ود لايك تو ويلكم ايفريبودي Uh, the all the attendees, uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I would like to make it in English and Arabic as much as I can, even though we have a poll there to see if you would you like to go in English or Arabic. So uh, let's let's start and get out and let's find out who would like to have it in English or Arabic. Uh, where is the poll? Uh, There's a poll. There's a poll. Uh, in the, the, yeah, in the top. تصويت. Yes. Okay. فنصوت عربي ولا إنجليزي عربي or English. Well, uh, يعني if if you want me to continue, I can do the both English and Arabic. Uh, لا أنا I think the poll is a good idea علشان أنا نشوف المشاهد شيء أبغي. Okay. But they start voting. Uh, one, two, three. We only have three votes. Yeah, everyone else, please uh, go in and vote. Arabic or English? اختاروا تحت في الشاشة بشوفون ال الخيار مال ال voting. Well, let's do it a mix. <laughs> let's do the mix. I, I think I was doing it the right let's way, right? Yeah. Some people came for English, others for Arabic. Uh, let's mix. Uh, I mean, okay. without making it actually boring, let's make it as interesting as possible. Okay, I think uh, well, let's do it in both. Okay, let me let me start raising the first questions uh, to Dr. Mahmoud Al Bari. You are the main player in the in the real estate market, Dr. Mahmoud. Uh, I would like to know exactly an honest feedback to tell me how the market performing at this current time. Thank you, Jasim. Thank you, everyone. Um... And since you asked me for an honest, I'm always honest. I will be honest and straightforward to the point. Uh, it's 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 unprecedented thing. We never seen such a big thing, uh, never before in the history, at least in our generation and our fathers and grandfathers' generations. To jump to real estate industry, quarter one of 2020 in Dubai had registered the highest number of transactions since quarter one. 2017, which is a great thing that shows that this market has opportunities and there's still a demand. Even looking at the portals like Property Finder and Bayut, we've seen an increase in number of viewings, people list, uh, view listings, and they're asking and they're acquiring and they demand. 
So uh, we see uh, a demand that is still continuous there. Uh, prices are now more affordable to people. Uh, supply is becoming uh, less and less as uh, in the last few months we had uh, the planning committee that His Highness Sheikh Hamad uh, established and we started looking at supply. So supply is being cut, uh, prices are becoming affordable. Uh, the central bank has bumped $70 billion in the economy. The LTV loan to value now has been raised to 80% for expats. So looking at uh, supply and demand factors, we see opportunities in this market. However, let me also be uh, frank. Uh, yes, banks are stronger than 2008, definitely. But we have a lockdown, and this is what IMF said. This is the Great Lockdown, and this is similar or analogy, in analogy to the Great Depression of 1929 that lost that lasted for three four years. So uh, we have a lockdown. We have worries about jobs. We have worries about economy. This is not in Dubai. This is a global, right? It, yes, it's a health crisis started with a health issue, but it led to a complete lockdown of economies. And I think, and I do want to also make a conclusion here, the countries and cities that emerge faster and come uh, faster from this situation will be the winner, right? We've seen China actually, and this is a good example that I want to bring here. Uh, China after lockdown was over a couple of weeks ago, we've seen a 30% increase in number of transaction in real estate industry. So, uh, so Dr. Mahmoud, let me stop you here. And you are okay. trying to say during this COVID-19 and due to the lockdown, it is, it's brought in us good opportunities in the market situations? Yes. I think the prices that we see right now, I mean, we should, uh, yes, in short term, people are worried, they're scared, fear. This is something normal. This is very normal. But when do you expect opportunities? Do you want opportunities when the prices are going up? Uh, Warren Buffett once said, you buy when everyone sells and sell when everyone is buying. So I think this is a buy market. You can negotiate, you can get the right deal, but this is assuming that you have enough money and that you have a good job. And this is why I said uh, all the fundamentals with the exception to that the economy is still, we're not sure, we're uncertain, but a lot of real estate fundamentals, real estate fundamentals are there for people to buy. However, and, and let me here, Jasim, uh, mention a study, and this is something worth mentioning here. There was a study that was done on 150 years of performance of different assets. This is a study done by a German central bank, University of California, and another university from Germany. They concluded that real estate is the best asset in the 150 years, from, 1800, from 1870 till today, it's the best performing asset. In the short term, yes, you get hiccups, you slow down. But in terms of opportunities for people who don't have a home now, this is the golden opportunity. And this is what I want to say uh, in a nutshell. Okay, uh, Dr. Mahmoud, uh, uh, to, 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 to summarize what you mentioned, the, the, the COVID-19 is it's going to broken good, giving us good opportunities at this time of situations. Um, I would like to ask you another questions here. Uh, it's the, the, the technology's current uh, situation. It's, it's going to be a good role to play in, the, in the, using the technologies in, the, in this time of situations? Uh, definitely. I see actually two things have benefited from COVID-19. The first is the environment, the earth. We're becoming cleaner, cleaner air, better environment, less cars. And the second is technology. And if you look at the stock markets currently, who's the best performer company? It's Zoom, it's technology companies, it's delivery companies. So definitely technology is the uh, going to disrupt not only real estate, but mainly real estate at this point of time. Uh, Darwin once said, it's not the strongest, not the smartest who will win. It's the most responsive to change. And I think real estate has to embrace technology. It's not a choice anymore. It's a survival tool. It's a resilience tool. It's a competitiveness tool. We have now work from home. So we disrupted the office market and I think the office market will be disrupted and we have to look at the uh, fundamentals of office market. Companies will demand less of space. Companies will depend mainly on uh, more of uh, mobile and more of uh, less space than before. Uh, the shopping malls will be disrupted and forever because of the technology now. People can buy online and it's becoming something that people have tried now in the lockdown. So uh, office, 
hotel, hospitality, retail are the industry that have been hit the most. So real estate uh, in terms of housing is, has been uh, hit the lowest. Even now we say, be safe, stay home. So home will always be demanded and people now actually start to question what kind of home we want. We want spacious home, we want a better balcony. So when we look down, we, we, we have a better uh, things to do. We see also increase in social media use. There was an article recently, 87% increase in social media use. So this is an opportunity for real estate people to reach people through uh, social media. Also governments have to impress technology. Now we see now the department did 1.3 billion, uh, sorry, 1.3 billion dollar with uh, dirhams last week while everything was locked down. This is because they have technology and people also, the real estate industry and brokers especially, they have the right technology. So you don't have, now you do the viewing online, you do the transaction without being, uh, without going to land department or any government entity. So we see now even governments, uh, and we hope to see more of blockchain adoption so people can do everything, smart contracts, everything can be done online. No need to see, uh, to have face to face. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mahmoud. Let me, let me, uh, uh, there's a question here to the, the bankers, Mr. Shakar Zinner, you're the one who holds the money and you have a money behind you and under you. So I'm going to bring up the question here, not asking you to give us a money to buy, but I would like to know from you, what is the shift to, do you notice in the, in the consumer investment trends at this time? So uh, let's meet. Just first brief you about uh, Emirates Development Bank because we have a very attractive and a very uh, ambitious uh, agenda where we drive uh, and support national agenda uh, of a federal government. So it's very important for us to uh, develop a strategic uh, ecosystem for SME sector. That's a very, very big agenda for us. And of course, one of our main also objective is to uh, support all the UAE national and focus on uh, creating residence for every single Emirati uh, in UAE. So that's our agenda. That's why we have a lot of attractive products right now. We have we are the only bank who finance 100% LTV, and we have attractive rates, and we finance up to five million. We do under construction also, uh, and we actually support the Emiratis to buy a land. Uh, and interestingly, during this time, uh, because of the readiness we had digitally, actually our business were not uh, affected. Uh, so we do a lot of things digitally. Uh, our business volumes have actually picked up. Uh, so I think the, the continue the demand, as, you, as uh, Dr. Mahmoud uh, rightly said, uh, I've never ever seen uh, bankers uh, with the government, with developers coming all together to provide the best product, the cheapest product, the longer tenor with the best offer you can find. So I think, you know, you, you can always see uh, the positive side of what's happening. Uh, and we always say uh, any challenge, any difficulties comes with, uh, with opportunities. So again, going back to what we do, uh, we, we also, uh, a part of supporting UE National, uh, we work with the Sheikh Zayed uh, housing program to make sure that you know we we support them and as you know recently uh, Sheikh, uh, uh, Sheikh Zayed housing program have announced uh, supporting 500 uh, UAE nationals uh, so the government is committed and uh, to support uh, we also do startups we support the startups so uh, so we manage uh, Mohammed bin Rashid innovation fund so if you have and you know right now there is a lot of ideas because everybody is going digitally so there is great ideas. Uh, this can be done, but this is also provided for UAE national and expats. So if you have an idea, you want to build any platform that supports, uh, you know, uh, a great idea, uh, MS Development Bank is here to support. Uh, of course, we also have a guaranteed fund right now uh, to support any bank who wants to support any startup or any difficulties. So we are there to support. So we have a very attractive and very busy agenda to drive during this time. Now, coming back to your question, talking about investment again, you know, uh, see, I mean, if you look at past two, three decades, uh, we always say properties always fall sick, but they never die. So it's, it's a trend. So property is one element of investment that's taking place in this country. We have different 
type of investment. Being a banker, we know a lot of people are investing in equity and bonds. Uh, people are investing into uh, real estate is also one of them. Again, there's a lot of acquisition and mergers taking place. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, opportunities there. Uh, and of course, I mean, with interest rate, uh, you know, dropping to minimal, I think there's a huge opportunity. This is the time to ride the wave. I mean, when I, when I was, uh, I think when we were in the 80s, we were I mean, quite young and we were thinking, oh, you know, we lost the opportunities to ride the, you know, the ride the wave. But trust me, the, the wave comes every five to 10 years. You have to pick the opportunities uh, when it comes. So I think uh, people with a deep uh, pocket and uh, brave and, uh, you know, and grab opportunities, this is the right time. Uh, you cannot find uh, prices. Uh, I, 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 from what I remember, past 10 years, you don't see these prices. You don't see those interest rates, uh, Sad Jassim. I mean, banks are offering 1.9, uh, and you see developers are very attractive in waiving DLD fees. Uh, you can see they're waiving even uh, you know, uh, processing fees, the bank. They were giving you a gross period of six months to pay. So I think you cannot find better environment than this. And this is where you can see uh, the ecosystem is working very, uh, in, in a very robust matter where you have all the sectors coming in to, you know, to support uh, the economy sure. and to build the ecosystem for the investors to come in. So we'd like to say thanks to COVID-19. <laughs> I think uh, uh, we, th there is, again, I'll go back. Uh, there is a good and bad sign of COVID-19, to be very honest. Uh, you know what industries were impacted. We can see the index. You know aviation has been impacted badly. You, can, mm -hmm. you know that, uh, 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 I think, petroleum businesses have been impacted. You can see a lot of businesses have been impacted. But I think this is a transmission time. Time, I think things will turn around, but I think at the, at the other hand, you can see the healthcare has picked up significantly. You can see the digital uh, e-learning has picked up significantly. You can see agriculture, food uh, businesses yes. have picked up. Yeah, so there's a lot of factors. A lot of businesses have really grabbed these opportunities. And to be very honest, I think thanks to the leadership of this country, and I think thanks to the, all the investment they have done past couple of years on uh, on e-government and readiness of the government to go to, into e-commerce i think it's paying off today so 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 mr shaker uh, to to end up here with you uh, you had what what would, what's your 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 financial advice now you're giving us as investors you're, you're giving them an, uh, an advice that is the right time to buy mr shaker what is the finance advice that you would like to give it to the investors who are looking to, to invest in Dubai at this time? Okay. So, Jasim, it's, uh, I mean, it's always known and it will continue to be. Uh, Dubai and UAE has always been a hub. I mean, if you look at it, uh, the government has been committed to invest into infrastructure, into policies and, uh, you know, killing the bureaucracies and, you know, and protecting the right of, you know, the investors. So all that system is already developed. And I think it's the time for the, the you know, investors to, you know, to pick a lot of properties right now. With, and subject to the yield uh, return on equity, yield stays at 4 to 6%. You know, I think, uh, let's be very frank, we are one of the highest countries when it comes to you know, return on, uh, on equity or re return on your, uh, you know, on your real estate. 7 mm -hmm. to 6%, you don't find it anywhere else. So I think it's the right time to buy. And I, I, I want to echo also Dr. Mahmoud, he was talking about is the best time for the end users. You know, I mean, people were always, people who were living in a rented, uh, you know, uh, uh, properties, I think now is the time to buy. And I think, again, if the yields continues to stay at 4 6%, it's the time to buy. And of course, leveraging uh, the long-term financing that the bank are giving and the an attractive offer that has been given by the developers. So thank this you, cannot, thank you. It, it cannot be better than this. Thank you, Shakir. I think it's very clear. And uh, please uh, welcome with me again, Mr. Alharth Al Musa, the Vice Chairman of Falcon City. Mr. Alharth, thank you very much for hosting us today. And uh, I know you very well, and I know you are a decision maker and you're a straightforward person. Uh, I would like to know from you exactly why Dubai is the right place to invest right now? 
First of all, I'd like to thank you all for accepting the invitation and joining us on this uh, webinar. And I just uh, can't help to notice the, 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 the participants increasing. And I did a fast calculation to see if we did this in a five-star hotel. It would cost us approximately around 52,000 dirhams right now. And look at how much money we save <laughs> just by using technology. So, so that's fantastic. Um, Mr. Jassim, going back to your question, uh, can you can you repeat it again? I was busy why, with why, the why, Okay, why is Dubai the right place to invest right now? Well, um, not to repeat what Dr. Mahmoud said and what Mr. Shakir said because they have covered all the beautiful points and now they're going to leave me to struggle to find some good <laughs> reasons why Dubai. <laughs> But I think we can all agree that out of experience and out of history, Dubai has shown that it can get back on its, on its feet as fast as possible. Um, as Dr. Mahmoud said, if we go back to the Great Depressions, uh, to the Great Depression and we look at the history and what does the history say and how do you pull yourself out of situations like that, let alone what happened to us that we all experienced recently in the financial crisis and how Dubai managed itself. Dubai is a city that is led by uh, precise planning. And when there is planning, there is uh, success as long as the team that is behind all this planning is brave to execute it in the right amount of time, in the right manner, with the right approach. And this is Dubai. Dubai is exactly in the same situation of a lot of uh, other neighboring uh, countries and cities that uh, form the same um, demographics. But Dubai, due to its uh, dynamic uh, leadership, it stands out amongst the rest. Um, so other than that, Dubai bounces back really fast. Uh, we see that as soon as uh, the COVID-19 situation uh, passes and moves forward and, and, uh, and passes and becomes in our past, we will see a buyer's boom. And I'm, I'm not talking about real estate only. I'm talking about people that want to leave home to go to restaurants, people that want to leave home to go to the movies, people who want to leave home and just go and spend money, buy the next shoes, buy the next clothes. We've been stuck here for almost seven to eight weeks right now. Uh, we are scared to leave our houses. So uh, that, is, that is the first thing that's going to happen as soon as COVID-19 uh, goes into uh, the past. Another thing that makes Dubai different from the rest is the real estate regulating authority. One of the strongest reasons for any investor to come and invest in Dubai, regardless if that investor is coming to invest in purchasing a studio, or that investor is coming to invest in purchasing a big a mega plot to make a mega project. Dubai has the fertile environment for that. And having the real estate regulating authority to make sure that the seller, the buyer, the regulator, all the rights are reserved in the right manner. That is something very important for any investor to move forward with, to know that it is not only buyer be aware, you go to any of the developed countries around the world, buyer be aware. You buy what you get and, and it all depends on your research. But over here, if you do not know, you can go to RIRA to the reception and ask them about any developer, ask them about the construction progress, ask them about the escrow account. Everything is transparent and when business is transparent, that's when it becomes more comfortable to conduct business. Um, Dubai has its infrastructure. The infrastructure that Dubai uh, uh, boasts with is a, is, is a world-class infrastructure that only a few around the world have. 
um, if it comes to roads, telecommunication, security, safety, you name it. Dubai has excelled in providing the best infrastructure to lead to having a safe and uh, fair environment for all nationalities to live in harmony. And this is very hard to adapt, but Dubai has done it. So I believe Dubai is set for the next 100 years to come because the fundamentals and the foundations that are needed to uh, create such a utopian city, Dubai already has it. Um, please. Yeah, so, so um, as, as we know, um, the COVID-19 is going to be remaining, look like, for another coming three months, at least, or up to six months. Uh, but do you think it's the right time even to buy during the COVID-19? Well, uh, I mean, we cannot wait. What I'm trying to say here, we cannot wait till COVID-19 get over. But if there is during COVID-19, there is an opportunity to buy. So maybe you, you, will, you will advise the, the buyers is the right time to buy. I'm, I'm, I'm a developer and I will always tell you it's the right time to buy. But you want to sell, uh, you want to sell your, but, your inventory, Mr. <laughs> but putting that aside, putting that aside, um, again, the, the right time to buy is when all the research shows that it is the right time to buy. Because the right time to buy for Shakir is different than the right time to buy for Dr. Mahmoud, and it's different for you. There are a lot of factors that come, come into the right time to buy other than the personal uh, capabilities of doing such a deal then as uh, my brother shakar mentioned the interest rates and what offers are available from the bank and then we have to see what the real estate market is showing what's available because as dr mahmoud said uh, uh, Warren Buffett said, when everyone is selling, that's when you buy. And when everyone is buying, that's, uh, that's when you sell. And right now, due to the fear of COVID, we have noticed a huge uh, oversupply of ready units into the market. Some people want to cash out. Some people want to close their loans. Some people are, it's, 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 they have different reasons for that. But that was in March. And today in April, we have noticed a different trend and we saw that uh, prices have started to pick up slowly. What happened? Fear is gone. People know exactly where they are right now. They know that life is going to move on. They know that uh, they have adapted to the situation as Dr. Mahmoud said, uh, Darwin said, it's who adapts faster for the situation. And, and people have adapted and uh, it's moving in the direction of uh, becoming a more stable environment. So is it the right environment to buy now? It will all depend on the research that you have to do. But in a nutshell, of course it is the right environment to buy because prices are at a very low point right now. And this is when you have to jump in and, and grab it, regardless if it's an off plan or a uh, uh, already uh, apartment or... Uh, I, 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 I'm, I, I'm supposed to be natural here, but I totally agree with you. It is the right time to buy where the bank offering a best uh, interest rate and there's a lot of, uh, let's say, uh, supply to the market, uh, you know, and uh, there's a lot of people that will look to this COVID-19 as an opportunity to buy. But uh, then, then the question here will come, uh, what is Dubai offering us uh, at this time? See, uh, see, uh, Jasim, what people do not realize is they have to study each market based on the market environment that they are in. If people are uh, trying to study Dubai real estate market from a rent point of view, I will tell you, you have the wrong equation there because it's not going to work. Dubai is not a market that you consider uh, the rent to cover your return of investment. Uh, and, and that's the same for a lot of international big uh, cities around the world that offer world-class infrastructure and real estate also. Dubai is a capital game market. You buy today, you wait. 
few years later, you sell, your capital gain is going to be there. Why? Because the infrastructure is being developed constantly, constantly, constantly. Dubai is a very small city. Why do we have two airports for such a small city? Because we have a plan, we have a strategy, we have a future, and we know the direction that we're moving towards. That's why we start working on our infrastructure from now for 10 years uh, uh, ahead of us. And there is no property tax. That is something that we have to come and, and, and look into. The hidden charges, small charges here and there uh, that, that do not appear in, in, in other markets, uh, that do not appear in Dubai and appear in other markets. And also what's uh, very important to know is that a lot of people have nothing right now on their hand but time. So sit at home, do your research, and I promise you, you will find the best buy in Dubai, even in this situation. Uh, thank you, Mr. Al-Harith. And there is a lot of, of uh, in the Q&A, there's a lot of questions, the people, they raise it up here. And some of them, I think we covered during, uh, uh, during our discussions. Uh, but there was a questions uh, about the REITs, which is the crowdfunding. Uh, uh, do you think it is, it is something that could be applied? Crowdfunding or REITs? Because it's uh, two different things. I know, it is totally different between REITs and the crowdfunding. Uh, I don't know if Dr. Mahmoud, you would like to uh, sure. bring up here about the, uh, the REITs and crowdfundings. Or we, maybe we could have another uh, uh, seminars uh, talking about sure. this. I mean, we, we already have uh, REITs in Dubai. There are a couple of them. But they're, to tell you the truth, we don't have the, uh, the depth of uh, international markets. If you go to the US, 1 billion uh, uh, Americans and non-Americans are investing in REITs there. So ours is still uh, not in depth. Uh, worldwide, uh, REITs have been uh, proved to be more resilient to crisis. So REITs performance is better than the, uh, uh, the, the physical stock, which is the real estate. Crowdfunding is an interesting opportunity for people with little money who want diversification. So I have 100,000 dirham. I will put 10,000 dirham in uh, one apartment here, 20,000 dirham in an office, 30,000 dirham in a, hotel, in a hotel, and so on. Crowdfunding, actually, and let me share an experience of mine. I did invest in a European crowdfunding platform and uh, one here in Dubai. And I got almost 14.6% return, which is very high. I mean, higher than uh, even buying uh, the whole asset and renting it out. I want to say, Jason, one thing. Uh, this is a, a time for one thing, to uh, have, uh, I mean, usually you have to expect the best, plan for the worst, and be ready for surprises. I don't want to tell you that. Everything is perfect. We have to be ready for surprises. China has given us a great example that when they came out from this crisis, their real estate market actually uh, shooted by 30% increase in number of transaction. The Chinese investors became more introvert investing in mainland of China. So we will see that the globe after COVID-19 will be less globalized. So we will see less of international investors. And this is a risk that we have to deal with here in Dubai. We have about 217 nationalities of investors who invested in Dubai because they trusted the system, the regulation. So how we create demand? I think the issue for Dubai, how to create the international demand, and more importantly, how to turn the 70% tenants living in Dubai into landlords. This is the hidden treasure that we need to talk about. We have now the long-term residency. This is a great. We have an interest rate that's now the lowest in 30 years. It's a great. We have opportunities, affordable assets. Uh, developers are willing to give you five and 10 years. It's a great combination. Uh, REIT, I don't recommend it for the a bad performance history, at least the REITs that I know here in, in Dubai. Crowdfunding is more interesting, but if you want to invest, then give it a try. It's diversified assets, so you don't lose all your money. Well, uh, it is very, very uh, uh, nice topics, and I think uh, we might uh, host another uh, webinar in the in the crowdfunding and REITs to talk about them in more depth and details. What the different or what the best uh, uh, where to invest on REITs or in the crowdfunding. Uh, I, uh, I I suggest to Mr. Harat maybe we can host another seminars in this. Absolutely. Uh, Good. Absolutely. Uh, now, Why not? now, 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 I would like to ask a question here and open. Uh, Mr. Harith, 
could you tell me, uh, because this equation came up from questionnaire, uh, how Dubai it will look like two years to three years from now? How do you see the real estate market? How do you see the real estate market in, in the coming three years? Any real estate market depends on the uh, fundamentals around it that support it. So what do I mean by that? Obviously, supply and demand plays a big role in it. Um, the leadership of the country, uh, the direction and uh, motto that the country holds on how it carries itself forward and I, I've said this I've said this before uh, Dubai has set an excellent example of overcoming challenges and setting a perfect example uh, for example His Highness Sheikh Mohammed in the last uh, cabinet meeting uh, discussed what's after Corona while some cities are still fighting corona heads on that shows us that the leadership have corona under control 100 percent and now we're moving ahead of that um, the indication that uh, banks are still moving forward uh, the construction sector is still moving forward um, developers have virtual sales offices and have virtual uh, reality uh, model homes and apartments show you that technology is, is uh, moving in and uh, taking over the conventional sales process. All these give indication to prosperity. So I will not know how it will look like one year exactly from now, two years exactly from now, but I know 100% that it's going to be much brighter and there is a light at the end of the tunnel that we're all going to see sooner or later. Thank you, Mr. Rahart. I, I have another question that came up from Kanye, and I, I believe I will address it to Mr. Shaker. Uh, what about Expo 2020 being postponed? Is that affecting the real estate market from a financial point of view? Mr. Shaker? Actually, it actually it's helping. I think uh, the decision of moving it up a year was a good decision. Uh, you know, when you when you extend the projects, you extend the you know uh, all the building up infrastructure. I think this uh, you know it gives the relief for banks to you know to inject, and I think there there will be more uh, you know projects will come up to uh, as an expansion. I think people will have time to even complete other projects. I mean, I don't want to talk about developers, but I think developers had a lot of projects after Expo 2020, after Expo, sorry, uh, project. Uh, so I think these projects also will be completed. Yani, I personally invested in some projects that would have been completed after Expo. Now I'm happy that they pushed it. So I think, you know, uh, there's always a good reason uh, for delaying things. Uh, so from a bank perspective, I think, uh, I don't see any issues. Uh, the direction was very clear. I think Central Bank injected 60, uh, 60 billion uh, in supporting all the banks. I think postponement of uh, installment and deferment will help uh, a lot of these projects uh, to en enhance their cash flow. So I think it's a positive thing. Uh, and you know, going back to what Al Harat was saying about. You know, again, pro property is something is a must, you know. So, I mean, population will grow. It's only the supply and demand. Things will grow. I mean, in, a, in the history of decades, you go past, uh, you know, we will always have big families and, and you know, population will grow. So, I think, uh, mm -hmm. the, and if you see around uh, here, Justin or uh, everybody, none of the projects were, you know, kept on hold. Projects continuing. And infrastructure is building. I think nothing will stop uh, this country to to move on. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Shaker. And uh, I think we 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 answer most of the questions that is relating to to today's topics. Uh, and I would like uh, if, if, uh, if, uh, to conclude here. What we come up with the recommendations uh, to list it down and to 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 bring it up again. So, Mr. Uh, Mahmoud, Dr. Mahmoud, could you please give us at least one sentence of conclude, concluding this topic today. 
advice or advice or recommendations i want to say panic is not a strategy hope is not as well what we need is a long term resilience competitive long term planning it is the time to look for the best interest of the city and country it is the time to look at what adds value to the economy what kind of projects we need more of health oriented wellness uh, developments we need less of focusing on malls because they're going to be uh, useless in the future let's direct the money the projects to uh, the best uh, assets that we need for the future let's also support financially smes it is the time to support sme and create more jobs if this country will grow it will grow because of the great leadership but we also need the great investment in smes and future of jobs agree mr shaker could you please give me one sentence of uh, recommendation or advice okay if you are an end user please buy that's it that's it so if you are looking for a home like to live in now is the time to buy is the right time i totally take a 25 years take a 25 years loan with a, with a, with a minimal interest rate you will pay minimal you will pay maybe 3 4000 dirham a month which is less than the rent you are paying and you're you know you are living uh, in your own dream home i hope i hope uh, the uh, emirates development bank will uh, will give us a good package <laughs> Abibi, I, I, I keep saying we are here. The fundamental of Emirates development was to, to ensure that every Emirati has a residence, has a house to live in. So we are here to support an 100% LTV and the best interest rate. Thank you. And I mean, I don't want to go into the projects, but right now we are working with a lot of developers and one of them is Falcon City is to build communities only for Emiratis. Yani, sorry, yani, Mr. Yani, Mr. Al Harad, maybe that, yani, that spot, but... It's okay. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> I, like Harad, it I like it coming from the horse's mouth. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr. Al Harad, uh, could Mr. you please? Could you, thank you, sir. Could you please conclude us with one recommendation or advice to to the audience or to to us that we could uh, list it down here? I think this advice is in general, not only for uh, for our session, but planning is the key to success. And planning means you have to do your correct research and study all the parameters and make a decision based on the research that you have done. But jumping into a situation without doing your planning, that is suicide. And Dubai is always the right place. And it is always the right time to buy in Dubai. And there is always an excellent deal somewhere offered in Dubai, protected by RIRA. So go ahead. Thank you. And Thank you, Mr. Harad. Thank you very much. Uh, there was uh, some questions here uh, in the Q&A asking, are we going to record this one? Yes, we're going to record it and we're going to send it to the, all the attendees. Uh, there were so many questions. I hope that we answer most of them because some of the question is just repeating. Uh, There's a question from Yasser. Can you get it? Yasser. <laughs> from Yasser. Well, if, Yasser al -Kamda. <laughs> Well, if because you have it, please... What's up? He's kind of answer my you... question. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to find out here, but please, if you yeah. if you could see it, uh... I see it. I see it. It says Yas Al Kamda says, "What is the guests' views on the office market during and after COVID-19?" Mm -hmm. Most individuals are working from home, and in most cases, proves that you don't require an office space. Mm -hmm. Good question. Uh, Dr. Mahmoud, you want to take this or should I I think take the, it? this is the question for Dr. Mahmoud. <laughs> well, let's uh, working from home definitely is going to disrupt the office industry. And from research that I've been doing the last few, few months, uh, we've seen a global trend towards less space required from uh, management, from uh, firms. And firms now started to look at 50% of the space that already they rented. 
So uh, we will see definitely less demand on space. We may see more demand on co-working space like WeWork and such uh, platforms. Uh, it is very early to, to finalize this, but we see this trend uh, developing. What I, I said before is that offices and hotels have been under so much of pressure from technology, and now you, you, you have COVID-19. Both together are going to change these two industries uh, uh, for good. So uh, we need to, to be careful. If I want to develop now in Dubai, I will not develop an office or a hotel, definitely. I will go to logistics, industrial, residential, look at something that is in demand and not so much of that. Schools as well. Now we have online education. I don't think we've seen recently an online school. So we will start to see some ideas going into that direction. Will they make the whole office market obsolete? No, but the demand will be less and we have to be ready for that. I would like to add to Dr. Mahmoud. Um, uh, also, regulation plays a big role in, in the situation. We are all uh, businessmen, and for our businesses to be activated, we have to have an Ijari contract to uh, register the trade license on it. So as long as this uh, requirement is a necessity, then uh, uh, the office market will have its uh, share in the pie. But I, I understood that there is a lot of studies being done now that they are considering uh, some trade license uh, should not have a actual office and only have a virtual office. And sooner or later, I believe that change is going to come in, whether we like it or not. And these changes are going to create a lot of space from offices to other spaces. Uh, but we have to also keep in mind that this will bring a lot of traffic impact uh, situations onto it uh, because of the usages of the buildings. Uh, they're completely different if it's a residential or it's a commercial uh, or it is a, uh, a retail. Um, so Yasser, I think what Mr. Mahmoud, uh, what Dr. Mahmoud said, uh, and adding on to it, what I say is it will be there, but sooner or later it will disappear. Thank you very much, Mr. Hart. And uh, to, we'd like to thank you very much. Thank everybody here attending this uh, webinar and uh, uh, hope uh, it was a successful. And uh, uh, we look forward again uh, to, to come up with another uh, webinar relating to different topics and subjects. Uh, I would like to thank you once again, Dr. Mahmoud uh, and uh, Mr. Shakir, as well uh, Mr. Harat al Musa. Uh, thank you very much, uh, and uh, we look forward to see you one more time in coming soon futures. This is Jasim Al Bastaki. Uh, today I was recording and monitoring this topic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. So thank you. Stay safe. Stay home. Assalamu <laughs> <laughs> alaikum.